Good morning everyone, happy day three of the contemporary -a -thon. I am back in my car, I am back at work and it is raining again. Uh, it's pouring with rain, although not as heavy as it was yesterday. I have done a bit more listening to Daisy Jones and the Six this morning. I'm five hours into it now and I'm still loving it. I cannot describe to you the feelings and emotions this book is making me feel. I don't really care about music. Like, I'm not a massive music lover. I don't really get into songs unless they're to do with my favorite ship or TV show. This is getting to me. It's intense and the relationship between Daisy and Billy is so interesting. I've got no idea where it's meant to go. I do believe that they're soulmates, but I also don't want them to get together. I just think they're best friends and, or they could be best friends. They just click so well and it's making me emotional. And to be honest, I'm finding Billy a lot more interesting than I'm finding Daisy. And I think that's because Daisy hasn't kind of suffered properly yet. We're learning from a lot of other people how much, like how many drugs she was taking and all of these situations that she was in. And because Daisy is in the interview, we know that she kind of got out of that okay and she realized what was going on, but we haven't reached that moment yet. Whereas Billy had that moment right at the beginning where he went to rehab and told himself he was gonna be clean for his girls. So, yeah, that's how I'm feeling about that. I have a few minutes until I have to go into work, so I'm going to read a bit more of Truly Devious, but I'm not going to make much progress on that. I will update you probably around lunchtime, so I can tell you my final, like, theories on Truly Devious before I finish it. I don't really have many plans today, I'm just working really, and I need to carry on packing up the house, I need to record a couple of videos. I did say yesterday that I would tell you or shout out some other booktubers, so I guess I will do that as well. I'm actually quite enjoying documenting my thoughts as I go along to the camera, because normally if I was to do a wrap up, then you'd hear about it all at the end of the month after I'd collected all my thoughts, and then with a longer reading vlog, I feel like I'm not talking to the camera as much because I don't want it to be like three hours long so it's difficult but I think I am enjoying it which is the main thing I'm really enjoying myself I think today at work is going to be incredibly busy hopefully not too stressful because I have a handle on things so that's good I'm just really looking forward to lunchtime so I can read some more because ugh, I'm loving this readathon so much uh, i'm hoping to finish truly devious today definitely actually because i said i would yesterday and then i can carry on with the how and the why which i'm so glad i started yesterday because now i'm super hyped to get to my next book i was a bit worried that truly devious and daisy jones would put me into a bit of a reading slump but instead i'm really hyped for my next book because i know that it is good and i'm going to get into it so that's where I'm at. I will speak to you all later. At lunchtime today, I finished off Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson and I really, really enjoyed it. I was not expecting a cliffhanger though and that's a bit disappointing because I was hoping to find out whether or not my theories were correct and it turns out I couldn't have told you whether or not they were correct because we don't get told anything because there's a massive cliffhanger. I'm tempted to go and buy the second book already but I think I'm going to hold off and actually focus on my contemporary on TBR before I continue on with this series. I will be recapping it for recaptains. You've got that to look forward to. I'm not sure what rating I'm going to give this. I'm thinking four. It might be more of a three and a half because I feel like it was a tiny bit incomplete and not as kind of in depth as I was hoping but saying that it was definitely very captivating and compelling and I really enjoyed myself so maybe four so between three and a half and four I refuse to go down the route of doing like quarter stars because by that point I'm just going to confuse myself so I finished this and that means I read 100 pages of it today this completes the challenges for illustrated cover because the leaves are illustrated Plants on the cover and Beloved Books, that's three in one. And I guess you could probably call it dark since there are some murders. So let's say this completes four challenges. I can't remember how many there were, there were six or seven, I think. Uh, so go me, that was quite good. I've also listened to another hour of Daisy Jones and the Six. So I am currently five hours and 44 minutes in and I have nine hours left. So I'm probably going to finish this on Friday and I'm super excited honestly I'm loving this book so much and it's probably gonna make me cry at the end I just I have a feeling as for my next book I'm going to continue on with the how and the why which is a story about adoption I can't remember if it was this vlog or yesterday's vlog that I've told you this in but I started it yesterday and really 
I'm quite enjoying it. So I'm going to continue with that. I don't really have much going on this evening, to be honest. I was going to go furniture shopping for my new house, but I think we're going to do that on Saturday or Sunday instead. So this evening, I guess I'm going to do some vlog hopping because I need to do that. Oh yeah, I did say I was going to tell you which new booktubers I discovered when I was going through the Contemporary-a-thon videos. Let's see, my friend Ginger is doing daily vlogs, which is very exciting. I don't think as of right now she's uploaded, uploaded day two yet. But I hope she does soon. I'm also watching and loving Chelsea's vlogs and I haven't watched any of Melanie's or Amy's videos yet because she's also uploading daily. I've done something weird to my YouTube now. Hang on one second let me just fix this. Let's see so yesterday I discovered the well red fox whose name I don't know maybe she'll say it. No she doesn't. Um, so I don't know what her name is but I really enjoyed her vlog so I've subscribed to her. So I also need to watch let's see there's Jurassic Reads, Bianca Reads, Lis least reads so i need to watch all of those videos today i think i'm gonna do that while i'm doing the prep for dinner i'm also kind of tempted to carry on listening to daisy jones so i might also do that as well and i'm also going to see if quill will watch some more of supernatural with me because we're on season two at the moment um i've got the dvds which is a good thing because amazon prime has changed the soundtrack which i'm very upset about because they didn't have carry on my way with sun in the season one finale and they also didn't have don't fear the reaper i was quite distraught um so now oh now we're watching it on DVD. We're on episode 13, which is when the concept of angels is first introduced, except they're not really angels because the proper angels are introduced in season four. So I might watch some of that. If not, then I guess I'm just going to be reading the how and the why and possibly Daisy Jones, but I'll get back to you. I was going to record some videos tonight. To be honest, I'm probably going to do that tomorrow instead because I'm really not feeling it this evening. I need to do my October TBR and some horror and thriller recommendations because I told myself I would do that. I just kind of want to stay in tomorrow to be over so I can move into the new house. It's just really frustrating living between two houses and not having like all of my stuff in one place and I feel quite restless because it feels like I shouldn't be in this flat and there are like boxes everywhere as you can see. That's my tripod for my filming setup. Uh, just boxes upon boxes everywhere it's just really frustrating i don't like moving i've decided next year i think we're going to stay in the house because i don't want to move again hey everyone it's now 10 o'clock and i'm about to go to bed i did a tiny bit more reading this evening uh although i've only read like 10 to 15 percent of the how and the why i'm still enjoying it i'm still feeling as though it's going to be very hard hitting the letters from the girl's birth mother are still getting to me and I really hope that by the end the main character gets to, I don't know, find out something about her mother and it will be resolved. However, the reader's note did say at the beginning that Cynthia had never found her mother, birth mother. So I don't know if it's going to follow those events. I think either way it's going to be really emotional. So I'm looking forward to carrying on. I also watched two more episodes of Supernatural with Quill. He's never seen it before. I am doing a massive rewatch before the show ends next year. And we watched the one, I can't remember the name, about the church and the fake angel. It's actually a spirit of one of the priests. And Quill was like, oh yeah, that one was really like nice and sweet. So let's watch another one. And then we watched Bat Born Under a Bad Sign, which is the one in which Sam gets possessed that was fun and I think he found that quite stressful and I'm just loving how into this show he is. I also didn't realise that Knocking on Heaven's Door plays in one of the two and I still didn't hear it this time and then Quill started singing it and I was like what are you doing? That's a Bellark song and then he was like it's playing on the show and I honestly did not realise so apparently Supernatural did it first. Although not for a ship or anything, it's just for the brothers. So I'm going to go to bed now. I also wanted to thank you guys for being so nice to me in the comments of my previous vlogs. It means a lot to me and I'm really glad that you guys aren't finding these boring or a chore to get through even though they're so short. I just feel kind of pressured because everyone else, well not everyone else, but a lot of people do much longer vlogs and I just don't have the time or the energy this week. But I am really enjoying it talking more in depth about my thoughts. And I'm really enjoying myself and I'm glad you guys are enjoying it too, is what I'm trying to say. I'm just really glad that everyone's having a good time. I'm going to go to bed now. I'll speak to you all in the morning. Bye.